Hi, I'm Andy Joles. Welcome back to VideoCreditScore.com. You're probably asking, what's up with the hoodie? So, I will talk about that. You ever see that commercial on TV where the guy's sort of lurking outside somebody's house and all of a sudden he puts up the hoodie and then he's kind of Mr. Criminal and, you know, when the hoodie's down, he looks like your clean-cut actor guy, basically. So, I don't know if that sends a good message. It sort of says that people who are wearing hoods are are not safe. Um, so anyway, the reason for it is we're talking a little bit about security today. We're talking about a virtual credit card and what is a virtual credit card? Well, a virtual credit card is, a, is your same credit card where they're giving you a substitute number system. So they're allowing you to plug in your credit card number, they give you a different number, you use that number, let's say on an online uh, store, and your transaction will go through, but since they don't have your original number, your original card number is safe. Now, supposedly a lot of different credit card companies offer this service. Uh, we only found Discover and B of A to be the ones that were sort of promoting this. And B of A's is definitely the most flexible. Uh, it's called ShopSafe, and what it does is it allows you to set both an expiration expiration date and a credit limit. So you can say, I only want it to have a limit of 100 bucks. That way if your card number is compromised, uh, the limit is going to stop the amount of fraud that can happen against it. And it's obviously gonna be a number that you set will be lower than your overall credit limit. Discover Card is a little interesting. It doesn't really offer either of these features. It's more of a exact clone of your card number. So your card number is protected, but a clone number is replicated that has the same expiration date and I'm assuming the same credit limit as your card. So it's not really as flexible as the B of A uh, system. So why isn't that this hasn't taken off? These press releases on these features came out a couple years ago and we really don't see this in wide usage. And really I think it's because of the merchants. The merchants don't really like this system. It's not really that friendly to them if they've got a service where they're trying to do an ongoing charging or subscription service. That can create conflicts for them. So it's not as in wide use. If you're somebody who's a huge online user, this might be interesting for you as something you might want to add in terms of your security system around your credit cards. Remember though that your credit card liability is $50 if you contact the credit card issuers within 60 days. So make sure that if you aren't using the system that you know you know those facts about what your credit card liability is. Uh, so to learn more about this and other topics, you know where to come, videocreditscore.com. Remember, everyone's situation is different. Be sure to contact a financial advisor or a credit counseling professional before making important financial decisions. This video broadcast is for educational purposes and not a substitute for receiving personalized professional advice.